you're, uh, if you're missing some words in Croatian, feel free to, talk, <laughs> to tell them in Croatian and we'll repeat it, so it's, it's not a problem. Uh, you have all come yesterday here and you were at the opening ceremony, right? And did you watch the film? Okay, that's the correct answer. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, here with us um, we have Dario Lonjak, who is the director of uh, the film. Since we didn't have a chance for a big Q&A or anything uh, yesterday, we wanted to give you today a chance to ask whatever is uh, that you want and whatever interests you about the film or uh, not only the film, but uh, maybe about uh, directing, uh, maybe the, the professional um, part. Everything you want to ask. F feel everything free. what <laughs> you want to ask, yeah, feel free. Dario is a member of um, Cinema Club Karlovac from his uh, primary school. Uh, so when he told you that the film, that the short one um, that we were screening yesterday uh, was 20 years ago, it was really 20 years ago, <laughs> and uh, you were then in primary school. Yes, primary, here in Bratja Selen. Yeah, the in this yellow the yellow one across Orendom, yeah. Uh, so um, I'll give you the floor and uh, you can start maybe with a short introduction how your path from primary school to professional uh, directing was uh, going on mm -hmm. and if you have questions feel free to pop in whenever you want. Okay, my, my path uh, looks like I was uh, I think uh, 14 years old when I started in uh, Vido Družina uh, that was in gymnasium but I was uh, elementary school so I was kind of uh, uh, just wanted to see how, how things work there and then uh, Damir Jelic was uh, our men, uh, mentor uh, and <coughs> he was, uh, he was uh, giving me the chance so I can make something I want. I, I, I decided to make a short, uh, short video about Carlo, it's about uh, Back then, uh, uh, in that time, Carlos, uh, there, there was not a highway around Carlos, so the, uh, it was um, uh, the main uh, road goes to uh, goes to the city, so the city was crowded. So that uh, that was my initial idea to start something like that. And from the, uh, then, uh, uh, I just uh, I was interested in movies. I watched a lot of movies. In, uh, I was uh, in cinema all time, so uh, I was a member of Kino Club Carlos and then I uh, uh, started uh, in uh, <coughs> uh, Academy of uh, Dramatic Arts in Zagreb. Uh, Twenty years later, here I am with uh, my first, my first uh, film debut. So that was something uh, in in in, sh uh, in short, my my uh, path from the beginning to to my first uh, first film feature. So, did you watch you watch the uh, Dujati? Yes, yes. Uh, Savages. <laughs> what what's your opinion about the film? How do you feel? Uh, I I have a really uh, strong feeling about the film. A question that a little bit bothers me. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, how did you manage for the people and the actors? Uh, did they speak what Arabic or Turkish or what was that? Arabic. Yeah. Arabic. Yeah. And who taught them? And how did they learn all those uh, words? Uh, we we <laughs> had uh, we had a guy from uh, Arabia. Uh, he lived in Zagreb, but uh, her parent, uh, his parents were, uh, lived in, in I think Iran. I'm not sure. Uh, so he was a translator and he helped us on the set with the translations and he worked with the actors so they, they managed to, to, to know how to speak <laughs> properly. And how long did the process of learning that last? Uh, well, uh, he recorded the, those lines we had to, uh, we had to translate. Uh, although we have, uh, so, so they, they, they practice, the actors would practice on their own, so uh, the pros are, I think, of two or three months from the, from the scratch to the final product, yes. Okay, great, thank you. <laughs> okay. um, mm -hmm. Since this is 
to declare it as first, uh, let's say, uh, first Croatian action film. Uh, how uh, how uh, difficult was it to uh, to uh, convince uh, studios and investors to support this movie and to really make it? Uh, well, um, I, I uh, in the beginning I didn't have uh, funding for this movie. It was uh, only uh, the producer gave his own funds. It's private. It's, it was a private investment to, to make uh, the, uh, the, uh, this movie. So, uh, <coughs> and after we shot uh, the first part, we, we shot uh, approximately 80% of the movie, and then uh, creation of the visual center uh, gave us support with I think uh, 3.2 million kunas. That's uh, half million euro, uh, and then uh, we finished the movie. Actually, we didn't. Uh, so th that's low budget. That's uh, actually no budget movie. Uh, everything goes from uh, producer. That uh, the all, all investment. Uh, <coughs> uh, your your question was how how to convince. Uh, we thought uh, we 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 have a mind to make something completely different for creation uh, for creation uh, cinema. So uh, we thought that if we go if we try to make um, action or some. A little bit uh, different genre. Uh, we could make something that we like, actually. We, so th that was uh, our initial uh, initial idea to to make something that people will uh, uh, will be interested in uh, watching. So th there's not a lot of moves like that in here in Croatia. We ha we had some uh, action comedies or. Um, let's say, experimental kind of uh, genre, but there is no uh, such uh, action comedy like this one. Do you have some question about the process of, uh, of uh, filmmaking, this kind of? What was the most difficult to film, and how did you uh, solve that problem? Well, uh, first day of uh, our uh, shooting, we we found out that we have no uh, people in uh, in in um, grip section, so we didn't have uh, any any of the the, the uh, one guy who, who was involved with the grip. He decided not to not to work with us. So we had uh, like. Um, uh, two or three trucks full of equipment we couldn't use. Uh, so, uh, and that, uh, in that point, I, I didn't know how to make the movie because I had a great camera and everything, and a lot of people were there. Just uh, we, uh, we had uh, uh, problems with the the, the like. Uh, we, we, we had a, a stand for camera, and that's the only part of equipment we could use for. Uh -huh, okay, that's the only part of equipment we could use for <laughs> filming. So, how could uh, how can I make an uh, action movie only with uh, tripod and camera? Uh, in that point, we, I, I couldn't uh, make a handheld camera, handheld shots, because uh, it's a very expensive camera and. Uh, my uh, director of photography didn't want to make some kind of experiment because he didn't have uh, people around him. Uh, so uh, we find out that we could make uh, uh, static single single shots be, uh, and split uh, shot in two on, or, or three parts, and then we we, we choose uh, we uh, we had the, this option to uh, to. Uh <coughs> let's say compose uh, one single shot from a. Few few uh, takes, different takes, so that that help us a lot. Because uh, if you don't have one thing, you somehow can get another. <laughs> so um, it was uh, difficult uh, to work without the budget. Uh, there, there are. Uh, <coughs> I remember. Uh, uh, I remember. Uh, Chasing sequence in the woods, uh -huh. so that was filmed like with a steady cam or yeah, uh, something like that. In the first few uh, days, we had steady cam, uh, and then um, because 
again from uh, for because of uh, lack of budget <laughs> we we had uh, just uh, two girls from uh, student girls for, uh, in, in camera section so they had uh, they they are, uh, they tighten to uh, strength those um, frictions on the on the gimbal yeah. and then gimbal uh, just uh, went wrong <laughs> So um, we we destroyed that gimbal in um, I think one week from uh, the beginning. Nice. The of time hundred thousand kunas went well, uh, but uh, again that's the all, all that's a, just film process and you can expect everything <laughs> during that filming time. And uh, how many people were involved in day-to-day -day production? So. In principal principal photography, how many people were working on on set on a daily basis? Uh, we had a small team, about um, I think uh, 25 people. We had um, uh, we didn't uh, th th those just m young people, uh, volunteers, all uh, uh, and we had few professionals. We had a very 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 good uh, lighting unit, so I was very happy about that. Our director of photography was very ex uh, experienced. And, uh, he helped us a lot in uh, production-wise, also because uh, if you have uh, such professional in in, in uh, uh, that part, you can rely uh, relate on him. So it was very good to have uh, Mirko Pivčević. His name. Thank you. Uh, also. We changed uh, the. Uh, we changed the. I think uh, three. I, I was one of uh, editors on the film, so we had four <laughs> editors in total. Uh, people here in Croatia didn't have a chance to do something like uh, this, so we had improvise a lot, and then um, the fourth editor just uh, sit on the with the project and put that together. Do you want to ask something? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I also have one, one more question. Mm -hmm. um, how, did, how did you find the place where you filmed most of the part? You know, the like, like the camp they have or some, uh, what, it's that a camp, camp, some yes. kind of a camp, yeah. Yes, we found a uh, house, old house that was not finished. Uh, and then uh, around the house was a, a plate, so we think, okay, we thought that this was a perfect place for us to build a camp, we build it from a scratch. Uh, so uh, it was uh, not so expensive, but you have to, you have to be uh, creative to do something like that without the budget. Uh, so uh, that was all built up. Uh, and other locations were um, uh, around uh, Zagreb. We had uh, those uh, tunnels. Uh, part of the, uh, the, that uh, ending sequence was filmed in Zagreb, and uh, the other part was in uh, Željeva, that was uh, abandoned abon the airplane uh, station, underground airplane station uh, on the border, of, uh, Croatian Bosnian border. And how did you manage to organize all of that? Did it take a lot of money to like, I don't know, rent or ask people to um, lend you the place? How, how, how did that process of uh, finding the space and locating yourself in that space last? Oh, well, uh, the part of film we shot, uh, shot in the woods, so you don't have to pay anything. Yeah. <laughs> you just need permission from the, uh, I don't know, Creation Forest uh, uh, company. So uh, uh, though that house we, we found uh, was, uh, I, I think, the, the producer paid a lo uh, small amount of money just for us to shoot there. Uh, and uh, other, uh, other parts were, uh, I think, free. Uh, they didn't have owners, so we just went there and shot everything <laughs> so you have yeah, police uh, because the, the the border is near i think a few hundred meters uh, away from that uh, from that uh, underground tunnel so we we need 
just police permission to to, to shoot uh, in the towns. And on the uh, uh, on the last day, I was checking out from the hotel that was in Korenica, uh, ten kilometers away. Uh, I was checking out, and the guy from reception told me, uh, as he asked me, where did you film that? I said, in Željava towns. <gasps> oh no, there was <laughs> there are bears inside. They're sleeping. So how, why did you go in there? <laughs> yeah, we've been four days <laughs> inside. So. <laughs> We are alive, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, and how many days of uh, shooting did you have? In total? Yeah. Uh, I think, um, let's say, uh, 25 in the first part and then uh, 6 in the second. We, we had uh, two years of pause in between. We, uh, okay. In the first part we, saw, uh, we, we filmed in uh, 2019, and then uh, after COVID and uh, earthquake in Zagreb, uh, the second part is uh, the last year. Last, uh, yes, when, uh, were yes. There, last year. Were there any problems in? Uh, I don't know if the the actors aged or uh, if anything was out of sync and so on. Well, I uh, I, well, I I can see that <laughs> the main actor gained about. Five, ten pounds, <laughs> so he was a little bit bigger. But uh, I think that's not uh, visible in a, in a movie. To the naked eye. Yeah, yeah I, I think you, you you have a lot. So you never do such a pose. That's that's worst you think you you can do if because you there's a lot of things to happen. So uh, we we just <laughs> we had to do that. Yeah, okay. We didn't have the option. Thank you. Of course. There will <laughs> there will probably be more questions, but um, between I mean I believe well I hope that between uh, Savages Divlaci mm -hmm. eh, and uh, Selo Moje Malo, mm -hmm. uh, there were some other projects mm -hmm. that you did. So how how many like approximately were there, and how different were they from you know what you imagined, and then what's the final product. So how does it differ between the imagination and the reality? Okay, yes, I, I went through high school and uh, uh, all, all that uh, formal education I had, uh, all, uh, everything I did was just kind of exercise for the, that for, uh, let's say, classes or, uh, so I, uh, I always wanted to ex make some kind of uh, experiment in my uh, movies. I didn't do, let's say, complete product, but uh, I would want to wanted to uh, try something new, try some kind of new uh, part of equipment, or uh, I don't know. Uh, and um, after I finished uh, my. Uh, University. I, I uh, started my own company, and then when uh, then I worked uh, like in commercial uh, commercials and uh, some kind of short uh, uh, short fiction and uh, documentaries for uh, Croatian national television. And uh, you, I think, um, when you do uh, when you make some kind of um, artistic. Uh, 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 form, then you're not satisfied at all. And even I, I did not be satisfied with anything I do. But when you're doing commercial, then the then the the the, the, the company you're working for is main is uh, uh, let's say in charge. So if they're satisfied, then you have to be. So um, I don't know. I tried. I, I always wanted to be to make something different. Try to experiment a lot with uh, everything, with genre, with uh, storytelling, and and everything. So I I think that uh, savages are also um, a kind of experiment, <laughs> although they are let's say classic fiction. But I try to experiment with a lot of the stuff in there. 
And uh, how big was that gap between finishing uh, the Academy of Dramatic Arts and, um, well, Divyatsi, uh, Savage uh, is making your, you know, your own film? I finished uh, university in uh, uh, 2012, and uh, film is so there, that's 10 years, but uh, we, we started uh, working on a project in uh, 2017, so that's like, like say five years from... That's not that big of a gap. No, no, that's not a big gap, but uh, this is my first feature uh, in uh, Croatia. Uh, first time filmmakers are, let's say, much more older than I am. <laughs> so, so that's not bad, really bad. Um, I remember from uh, the Q&A yesterday, I think, that uh, you said that the um, plot was about two guys in the woods because that's also nice for a low budget, but then in the movie it became this whole thing with the camp and a lot of weapons and a lot of destruction. So I was wondering how did you get to that from the, the plot with the two guys in the woods and were there any compromises in um, the plot because of the low budget? Mm. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> you have to ask the, the, my producer that question. He's better. Uh, he, he can give a better uh, answer. But um, let's say the story began with, uh, as you said, uh, dad and his son. In uh, they they went in uh, hunting in the woods, and then uh, they accidentally crossed the border and uh, became a. Uh, became a victim of some kind of uh, spooky weirdo uh, guys that that were ISIS. <laughs> that was first idea. So uh, when we uh, pitched that uh, idea to my producer, he said, um, "Okay, uh, I want explosion." <laughs> that was first first uh, his uh, his response to that. And the only he wanted an uh, exploding car. And then he, he bought the car and said to me, they see that car, I want him destroyed completely. <laughs> and when the, the, the moment of that, uh, so we, we, we had to, uh, let's say, um, we had to write down the scene when the car explodes. <laughs> <laughs> and when that uh, day came, when we had to shoot um, car explosion, uh, he said to me, well, I ha have a deal with my uh, with the actor. He will get the car after the shooting. <laughs> That's part of the contract. So please do not touch the car. My son will do it in post production in CGI. So I was oh, no guy, no, because <laughs> I I hate those CGI explosions. But uh, I didn't have a chance. So uh, that was kind of problems I had to deal with uh, <laughs> during that phase. But. Um, uh, as this was an uh, independent movie and all fundings came from his side, uh, I, uh, I had to be, uh, let's say, I had, I had to make lots of compromises. And then the script dramatically changed. Um, <laughs> And uh, we had <laughs> savages. <laughs> the, 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 you, you saw it yesterday. But uh, in the, all those um, changes, uh, I am still kind of happy with it. I stand behind the film. I am uh, satisfied with the film. There's a lot of, uh, and also mine and mine uh, screen, screenwriters. Uh, uh, original ideas are there, so we are just satisfied with, with uh, everything we got. Thank you. <laughs> yes. uh, one more question. Uh, so, uh, approximately your generation, or either a year older or a year younger, mm -hmm. is there anyone from your from the Academy of? Uh, uh, theater arts, or what is it called in, in English. Uh, is there anybody from your class or from, your, from your generation who is uh, as successful as you with this film, or in the path of success, or I don't know, has already had their debut film or okay, something uh, like that? I am on that, um, they, they call it a golden, uh, golden generation. Uh, I don't know how how are you familiar with the Croatian film, but 
I was on that uh, year when uh, where was uh, Hana Yushić, uh, heard of Hana yet? Uh, Sonia Tarokic also mm -hmm. he won. Uh, yeah. I think lots of <laughs> awards a uh, few few months ago, month ago in uh, Pula. Um, and uh, Igor Sergei also, uh, Igor Bezinovic, so let's say those are all, all very successful directors and uh, I'm the last one who made a <laughs> feature, so uh, I think uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of cool that we all are as different in our, uh, in our um, uh, expressions, on, uh, 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 that, let's say Igor Sergei is comedy maker, so. Hana and Sonia, artistic oriented. Uh, who else? Uh, Josip Zhuan also. Igor, Igor Bezinovic uh, is uh, famous for his uh, documentaries. And all we, have, uh, we, we all made our first uh, feature. So that's very uh, successful <laughs> generation. And are you still in contact with them, or do you support each other going on, pr well, like projections and all that, or, yeah, are you just still in contact and yes, all that? Yes, uh, we, we sometimes are in contact, but uh, when you, uh, ten years ago <laughs> we were all together, but that every, everyone has their own bed, yeah. so. Uh, Igor is working on TV, Hanna is, uh, I think, uh, he's teaching at the university, one of professors on uh, uh, Academy of Dramatic Arts, so everyone uh, found, found their own piece <laughs> somewhere in the film industry. Thank you, yeah. Uh, was your producer someone older than you with maybe more experience in the feature film industry or yes my, my producer um, made uh, oh, I think about uh, 20 movies uh, his name is Jozo Patiak he's uh, <laughs> famous in those uh, uh, film circles uh, and um, uh, he made uh, lots of those, the, the, those hits uh, like uh, uh, Croatian movies, all, all, all that are just big, big, big Croatian big movies. Yeah. Yes. So he's uh, very experienced, uh, experienced, but when you, um, it's it's kind of uh, natural that you have a very. <laughs> Odd uh, and, and uh, intense um, relationship with the producer because you're spending his money <laughs> and, uh, and I'm uh, I'm I'm the one who you know if I do something wrong then uh, everything is on me so that's very intense uh, connection. I'm interested. <coughs> I'm interested in the so the producing side mm -hmm. uh, when you say spending his money. That's uh, the money of his production company, or uh, the, is that the money he secured from investors or private money? What does his money in exactly my mean? Case, in my case, it, uh, it was his private money, his private investment, but oh, maybe that was money from the company, but uh, he, uh, he made that money by his own hands. N not in film industry, but I think he has a few different businesses. And so uh, that was his personal money, and okay. he's the only one in Croatia who worked that way. No one, no one will give you. Okay, here is <laughs> here is your budget, and oh, go with it. <laughs> no one do, uh, won't do that. So it's very hard to get funds from for for films in Croatia. There, there's uh, I think five or six feature films that are, uh, uh, that had, has budgets from the uh, government or let's say uh, audiovisual center, yes? Five, five or six a year? 
I think, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. And there's a mi micro budget uh, that's new category, so there's more, I think, five more, but those are real small budget films. And uh, I think the directors in Croatia are maybe 200, 300. <laughs> Each year there's six new from school. It's uh, it's really hard to get your uh, to get uh, money for for, yeah. for for projects, yes. But you you that, that's the only way you can do it. We are not a uh, commercial. Uh, we don't have industry, film industry. There, there there is not such thing here in Croatia. Everything is just in uh, arts section. So everything every movie. Uh, every creation movie you see, the, the, the just um, art films, and uh, government gave money for not f to get something from that film, but uh, festivals, awards, and that's all. That's uh, all we can get from our films. Um, you said only five or six uh, movies get made in Croatia every year. Yes. Yes. Then how did uh, how did you work yourself up there to be one of those five or six movies? I, I don't know. <laughs> sure. I don't know. We made that. We made made the picture. We we made, we had had first cut uh, without that ending part. And we show them. We uh, send it uh, with the application, and we got funds. <laughs> I don't know. Um, they like it I, uh, somehow. Although they knew that it's not, it won't be successful at festival, film festivals, because that's not meant. That that film wasn't made for film festivals. It's for made mainly for uh, the audience. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and um, you also said that you uh, you saw this movie as uh, an another experiment. Yes. Um, what parts uh, were the most experimental for you? Well, um, I had few, uh, let's say, experiments. Like um, uh, I wanted to know how the audience will react. For for example, for this uh, scene when. Uh, the main characters, a uh, main character uh, released uh, from that prison, wooden prison in, uh, in the basement, uh, because there's no uh, <laughs> visual explanation how they, uh, how he succeeded. Every, everyone uh, told me, "Yo, uh, no, that that won't be good. Uh, that will be kind of mistake." And I said, "No, <laughs> I want to test it, because there's a lot of films that." Had the same uh, same idea or same 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 um, thing, but uh, let's say uh, the, the, I want to explain how the people will react on the um, on the uh, Borko who, is, who had uh, two 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 roles. You know, the one one actor had two two ro different roles, and that was. <laughs> Let's say my composer didn't uh, didn't realize that he's the same Mali from the beginning of the from the beginning, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of s small, simple uh, experimental parts where I just want to uh, play with some some parts of that, uh, and uh, uh, a lot of that uh, movie. Um, was created in the uh, editing process. So the first uh, version of script was completely different from the movie. So <laughs> yes, the okay, yeah. Um, yeah, it was completely different, and that was because the producer wanted it different, or why was it completely changed? Uh, somehow we the, we made those changes in um, that process. We found out that um, some storylines were not so good. Uh, so we want to replace them. We had that uh, opportunity to reshoot some scenes uh, two years later. So we kind of uh, made 
made new 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 screen screen screenplay when we, we when we finished that first cut. Okay. That was uh, in all that uh, circumstance, that problematic uh, situation. That was the, the good part. <laughs> so it just grew organically into something new over the years. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Some kind, uh, some some uh, parts were completely d different than, <laughs> for example, the uh, uh, main uh, main character and the 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 let's say evil one, uh, Achimovich, uh, with Birdil. Uh, they they uh, had connections from the past. We had that line in the script, and I was not uh, satisfied with that, and then. We, we decided to some do do the, the edit differently, so we separate them. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> uh. I mean, I I think that every young and beginner, either a filmmaker or uh, just. I don't know, screenwriter, whatever. I mean, in my case, I really want to um, gather and collect um, advice and from like professional filmmakers. Mm -hmm. So do you have any kind of advice, either for filming or directing or a screenplay? Do you have any advice for like completely beginner filmmaker? Completely beginner? <laughs> I mean, completely beginner, either we're We've made one short film mm -hmm. on an iPhone or something like that, but like details, for example, how to, um, I don't know, set up a good light, uh, but mm -hmm. without a budget, you know, like completely details or like, I don't know, a better gimbal or something mm -hmm. like that. So okay. Uh, what would I uh, say to young people uh, who are uh, new in this? Uh, uh, in this profession, I think that only you have to follow that uh, idea you have uh, and try to make the best of it. Uh, what I learned on this project is to uh, people uh, in front of the camera, so actors or uh, your protagonists, the, those, the, uh, those are uh, uh, their most important part of the film. So they can uh, completely ruin your project and <laughs> everything uh, or they can make it big. So um, uh, instead of focusing on a gimbal or on uh, equipment, on lighting, you have to focus on the subject in front of the camera. I think that's the most important thing. And that's, the, uh, the, that's, uh, that, that was, uh, that's something I learned on this project because I didn't have much uh, behind the camera. <laughs> I, I had a uh, uh, had great uh, th that uh, 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 that uh, uh, part uh, above the line part of the unit. So director, photograph, uh, gaffers, and everything. Th those are th those are real professionals. But uh, m biggest professionals on the that that project was actors. And uh, I, I, I was, I said, I, I, let's say, blessed to have them on my project. I think uh, they are main key to get your film. <laughs> okay, thank so you. So you don't have to uh, be worried about uh, that technical part because if you have good idea and uh, good actors, everything will be good. <laughs> Even you, you shoot with cell phone or whatever. Thank you. Anything else? Um, maybe not a question that uh, everyone will find interesting, but uh, I'm just wondering very briefly. Uh, so you mentioned the golden golden generation at uh, Adu mm -hmm. Academy of Dramatic Arts. Uh, I'm just wondering which of you uh, mastered in. Because uh, at, at the academy you master as a director in either uh, so fi fiction filmmaking, right, or documentary. Uh, I, I, I'm just wondering who went where out of the the generation you mentioned. 
uh, from my uh, generation. Yeah. Uh, Sonia, Hannah, and uh, Josip Jovan uh, went and me uh, went to uh, fiction. I think Hannah didn't go to the last two years. I'm not okay. sure because she began to uh, teaching. Uh, so and uh, Igor, I, I'm not sure okay. about Igor. Uh, no problem. I was just so uh, not not sure actually. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Um, yes, about uh, writing. Mm -hmm. um, I always have the most difficulty with uh, when I write stories to mm -hmm. write a, a good ending. Um, how how did it go for you to write the ending in the movie? Well, that's that's a tough one because uh, endings are always um, tricky because you have to summarize everything. You you you, you begin somehow in the first first part of the movie. Uh, lots of uh, directors or writers uh, begin with the ending. They find some good twist or something that uh, is interesting, and they uh, came with the end ending of the, that uh, film. So uh, it's difficult to, to, to <laughs> answer that question. We had a lot of problems with the ending uh, in the phase of uh, writing because we didn't know how to complete, uh, how to finish the all lines, how to, uh, rem uh, how to uh, remain that uh, stage of humor and uh, action and everything has to be so dramatic at the end. And <laughs> so it's, it's, uh, it's hard to, you know, to, to get with everything. Um, if and uh, uh, that uh, uh, all people um, uh, when, when, uh, that that's what uh, I learned that people are remembering the beginning of the film and the last part of the film. So that middle 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 part you can just okay. It's it's okay. It will be. <laughs> I'm gone. not sure who, but I think one of the big Serbian directors said that you can uh, torture an audience for two hours, but if you leave them with a good ending. They would be like, yeah, it was a pretty good film. Yes, yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, so did you write the ending uh, at the start, or mm. did you write the ending at the uh, end of the uh, for, uh, for Savages? For Savages, uh, no. We, we wrote the ending uh, when we made first cut. <laughs> Done. So, uh, at the very, begin uh, very end of the project. The f we, we had a different ending in the first. Uh, we shot. Uh, we, we shot different uh, ending uh, oh, okay. in 2019. When what was the different ending? Uh, they all died. <laughs> 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 so, so and then I watched the movie and I say, okay, they they're not. I, I feel sorry for them and then we left them alive. <laughs> Um, and what part of the process do you like the most about making the movie? Well, mm -hmm. uh, all stages are interesting. You can enjoy in all stages of uh, movie making, but for me, um, I think that the uh, editing part was uh, the one that where I didn't have headache all the time. <laughs> And when when we finally get that film to, uh, together, and then we, when we saw that, that um, let's say film magic, when something happened, and then when uh, when I laughed at, at the s some scene, then I was happy <laughs> with what uh, we done. Okay. And um, how often did you watch uh, your own movie? Uh, you mean before the... Uh, yeah, while making it. I can imagine that... Uh, in the process of making it. Yeah, because you, you shoot a lot of uh, film. Of uh, Yeah, you shoot a lot of images and then um, you need to see if they work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I saw it. I have no idea. The about this. countless amount. Countless amount. <laughs> countless. That's, uh, 
but when when it's done, I don't want to see that one. <laughs> I saw it on the premiere, and then okay, <laughs> it's, it's okay. But yes, uh, in the process of editing, that countless. <laughs> okay. I saw every every version for dozens of times. So. Uh, we saw that you have uh, multiple screenwriters. Was it uh, the process of uh, writing together uh, at once, or uh, maybe you making a draft and sending it along to the next writer and so on? And then maybe how many drafts uh, would you say, full drafts, would you say you had before going into production? Uh, okay, uh, full drafts, we had like uh, six or seven. But uh, the one is, uh, or completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, in in between there were dozens of uh, differences, but um, the process of writing uh, was um, uh, Valimir and uh, I. We were we had a, the company together. And we we were sitting in an office every day, so we were all, all time we talked okay. about the film. And uh, Ivo Balenovic, who wrote Metastars and uh, Cannibal Vegetarians and all that great creation big movies, hits. big big hits, uh, he had some I, I, I say funny elements in that uh, script. He um, uh, we, we organized kind of uh, meetings, so we worked. Oh, I'd say. One, once in two weeks, so that was kind of plan. But we had uh, for from the from the first idea uh, to the let's say final final draft, uh, we had like uh, three years maybe. Yeah. So it was. <laughs> well, it's a process. Yeah, it's intense process. And <laughs> uh, Actually, if you don't have any more questions, we can wrap it up uh, okay. so we can have a short break for the next. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Thank I, you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. have a break. <laughs> Thank you.